Welcome to the More Podcast with Ava and Najee, where we are manifesting original rich bitch experiences. Each week, we bring you travel reviews, wellness advice, and general millennial musings with a level of refinement. What level? It fucking depends. Let's go. Hi. Hi. How are you? Listen, I'm living the life. Happy to be alive. How are you feeling? Good. This is so exciting. This is our official first episode. Episode one has started. This feels I, crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. And you know, what? before I forget, I need to document this moment with my new disposable camera. So <laughs> ready you went into the time capsule for that. Oh, wait, flash. Everything old is new again, Najee. I love it. Three, two, one. Yes. I love it. I love it too. <laughs> the thing about these is like you you only get one take. Right. And sometimes and most times that's really all you need. I think we kind of forget about that in today's world of taking 5,000 pictures to post that one moment in time. Yes, but like also we do need the options. Options are never bad, but you know, too many options aren't always a great thing. I love a small menu at a restaurant. Give me four things to pick from so I can move on with my life and start eating. <laughs> if you like the options, I'm just saying. Well, I'm typically one of those people that checks out the menu before going. That's good. I mean, you will, you will help us like select some great restaurants to try out. On all of our future travel dates, more coming soon pre-approved Najee selections. I love it. Um, what are you up to this week? Um, oh, same old, same old, just hang out with friends, trying to take things off the to-do list, make some progress on just planning my summer trips because I don't know what's going on or what's happening in the water in 2020, but the schedule is kind of crazy, um, including some trips for us. So just trying to knock some stuff out and get my life together. <laughs> what about you? It's true that 2022 is giving crazy. It's giving hectic. It's especially mm -hmm. summer. Summer 22 is coming in hot. And I am, mm -hmm. I'm also trying to prepare for it, but I think my big thing is wardrobe. So I kind mm -hmm. of got into like a two-year pandemic sweatsuit uniform which served me really really well mm -hmm. wake up put on the nike sweatsuit i have a black one i have a fuchsia one we rotate depending on the mood and it's great however it's starting to get warm in minneapolis so the sweatsuit can't sweat all summer and it leaves me with an issue because like i literally have no clothes so my thing right now is I'm trying, I'm also very picky, right? So mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. online shopping, you're spending the time, you're looking through all the things, you're trying to find clothes that like, they're the vibe that you want to like own. Mm -hmm. Price has to be right. The shipping, free shipping, free returns only. That's how we do it. The whole thing. So I'm excited for summer, but there's some, there's some work to get there. I totally understand. I myself am still in my version of that sweatsuit ver um, kind of pandemic mode. And uh, clothes is something that's on my to-do list as well. I feel like as we kind of navigate what it means to kind of manifest our own rich, rich experience, I think wardrobe and how you feel and how you express yourself is definitely a part of that. So trust me, I'm there too. Uh, we'll probably need to go shopping and we can sort that all out. I plan on doing a lot of shopping over the next couple of months. Um, and I'm excited for our own shopping date when I get to Minneapolis to see you. Oh my God. I can't wait. Um, that's, that's a sneak peek of a future episode, but we will be spending some time at the mall of America shopping till we drop yes. literally the largest mall in America. Is that right? Yes. Mm. Of course. Of course. Well, our first episode is sort of a self-titled album, if you will. So 
manifesting original rich bitch experiences. I think we should break this down, let the listeners know what Mm -hmm. the heck we're talking about. Um, It's something that we're super excited about. And so let's unpack it. Let's unpack it. Manifesting original rich bitch experiences. Now, I'm going to be honest, this was a kind of like a love child brain fart that Ava kind of brought to <laughs> my attention one random day um, when we were kind of conceptualizing ideas for this particular platform. And I must say, I really, really loved it. I think um, a lot of it is rooted in being your authentic self, living the best version of your life that you can in your own way and just being a rich bitch yes overall it's all about upgrading all about upgrading and (laughs) having that level of refinement which level it really depends (laughs) it depends it depends on the day it depends on the mood depends on the vibe right all the time and I think like when we talked about this like of course we want to share things that we're really loving um, with the hopes that other people may discover something new, whether it's a place we're traveling to, whether it's um, a self-care tool, but it's also not to say that we are here for toxic positivity because we're not right. And so it's like the level of refinement really comes in with, yes, this is a positive experience overall, but uh, we're not going to sugarcoat things. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, ma'am. That's not happening. Mm-hmm. So the level, of re- the level of refinement comes in there. And of course, we had to accommodate my love of, of swearing. So, And thus we have more. Manifesting original rich bitch experiences. <laughs> so we hope that some of our rich bitch experiences help to influence or inspire some of your own rich bitch experiences. And we'd love to hear about them. Yes. And I think, you know, I think there are a lot of things that brought us to this point. When we think about the collective experience, you know, you mentioned 2020 earlier. Now we're two years later, it's this huge time warp, but it really was this pause where everyone's starting to think about like where we are in life and where we want to go. And if where we are doesn't align with where we want to go, like there's some changes that need to be made and like, let's Mm -hmm. make them now. And so I think, you know, everyone's always perpetually on this journey of self-discovery while we're on this journey. Like sometimes we can start to think like, oh, I'm the only one going through this, or I feel like I'm the only one that feels this way. Mm -hmm. And it can kind of feel isolating. Right. But it's like, the reality is there's so many of us having shared experiences. And so the healing that comes from being able to share where we're at, where we're going. And hopefully, you know, even as you and I resonate, it always feels good to be like, yes, like I see you, I feel you, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Um, It's such a healing experience. And so I think when we think about this journey of wanting to do more of what lights us up and less of what we don't, because Life is too short, frankly. Life is too short. I heard that. Yes, like life is too short. So let's actually do things that we want to do. And that's where manifestation comes in. Let's fucking manifest some shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And honestly, sometimes when you are manifesting and you're really, really kind of desiring something or you're desiring more, if you will, sometimes the thing you're manifesting doesn't manifest the exact way you want it. But as we continue on this journey, it kind of evolves into something that, you know, you never really thought would be so beautiful, Um, such as us being here together. (laughs) It's definitely not something that was on my to-do list, but I feel like it was honestly destined. I feel like especially where we're at in life right now and kind of what those collective experiences kind of build up to bring us to where we are right now, it really just makes sense. And despite whatever happens, got to enjoy the journey, got to enjoy the journey. And it's definitely okay to continue wanting more and fighting for more and striving for more in your life. Um, And I think that's why we started this. 
Yes. Um, what do you mean it wasn't on your to-do list? Starting the podcast was not on my to-do <laughs> list. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't on mine either. And I've literally gone on record on other pods, literally saying like, I will never start my own podcast. So here we are with our own podcast. Um, let's just go through that because I swear to God, everything iconic starts in the DMS cannot convince me. Otherwise it goes down in the DMS, Uh it goes down in the DMS, including this podcast. So Najee, what did you post your story that day? Do you remember? Um, so <laughs> I was actually in Philadelphia. Um, I was at my ex-boyfriend's house. His father had passed away. So I was up there for the funeral and there was like some things going on that made me feel a little uncomfortable, but I'm also someone that just gets inside his head all the time. But something about the energy was just like a little off. Um, so I believe I posted something about, you know, sometimes I make things up, but energy really never lies. Mm -hmm. And then I get a story response from you after posting that saying you had some kind of vision that we were talking about the topics around energy and things of that nature on some type of platform. And then I think I was like, are you pitching a podcast to me? <laughs> well, I guess I am, question mark. <laughs> and that's honestly kind of where it started. We started having conversations about it. Conversations involved, uh, escalated and kind of evolved into brainstorming concepts. Brainstorming concepts evolved into sourcing logos and colors and brandings and then that kind of evolved into coming up with topics and show flows and then we kind of grew into our first episode first of many um and that's kind of how it snowballed into where we are today that's a so conversation crazy. about energy <laughs> yeah yeah i remember responding to your dm and i was like energy literally can't lie it it couldn't hide right because it's just mm -hmm. such a true read you know i can sense your energy you can sense mine our listeners yeah. can sense our energy it's it's one of the it's one of the few things that really as long as you're tapped in tuned in to like a certain degree it's like mm -hmm. you can never misread that and so i <laughs> i respond i was like yes energy can't lie and you think you're like go off I'll find, I'll find the combo and we'll screenshot it. We'll post it on, on the gram. But I literally had this flash of intuition. I had a vision where I saw you and I hosting a show. I think I said show. Like, mm -hmm. I definitely did not say mm -hmm. pod. I wasn't mm -hmm. like, this is a pod. That is absolutely what you said. You definitely said a show. And I was just like, huh? <laughs> I said, I see us on a show. And then you said, are you pitching a podcast? And I said, uh, I think I am. Like it's a very subconscious thing, but mm -hmm. that's, what's so cool about it. And to your point of like, it's destined, it's destined or it's faded. It's like, it really is, you know, we've known each other a long, a long ass time at this point, definitely at this point, we're coming up on like a 10 year challenge. Like yep. we could find some cute throwbacks and do a little side by side. Mm, you know, I don't know if I want to see those side. I don't know if I want to see those throwbacks, but <laughs> we can post those on the gram too. You the know, I'm always, capsule. you know, I'm always thinking content. I can't not <laughs> the time capsule, but we actually met in, was it 2014? It was. Okay. It was. So um, the glory days, kind of <laughs> the semi glory days, I, I we were in our young twenties making pennies <laughs> we are in our young 20s making pennies working in the hospitality industry which was the highlight of that glory day frankly because we just love travel so like that mm. was cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was, mm, yes that was cool <laughs> and um. i think you and i we worked so i was based in minneapolis you were based in philadelphia but we were connected because we were both in social media roles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Zoom, I don't think was even a thing yet. So we connected on the phone. 
Oh, we did have phone conference calls. What? We had conference calls. We literally, oh my God, I forgot about conference lines. <sighs> Bless. Bless the fact that I've forgotten all about conference lines. I am screaming. I literally can't believe we weren't on like a webcam. No, that's absolutely true. Okay. So we have this conference line. And all I know is there's someone new at, at you know, our Philly hotel location who's going to like take over social media for this property. And so we met and I just remember, like, I don't know what your first impressions were of me, but for you, I remember hearing your voice on the phone and be like, oh my God. Like this man has such a smooth voice. Mm. I could listen to him talk about anything for hours. So our listeners are very hashtag blessed that they get to hear your voice every week. But I was like, oh my God. And then I remember you were like using this fancy language and you know, the Aquarius in me loves that. You have to have some fancy words to pique my interest oh my they were included <laughs> i am crying because i've honestly never heard this story in my life no and it's just so a- funny like honestly this time that you're talking about is a little bit of a blur because at the time i was starting a new role so i didn't know anything about anything really um i went to school for marketing when well, i went to school for journalism and i was end up transitioning into this like kind of sales and marketing support role um and i knew that i had to be on like either weekly or bi-weekly calls with ava belke who worked at corporate and from what i understood she was queen of social she was in charge of the girls and she was going to tell us what to do and i was just like i know that's right i know that's right i mean i remember my first initial impressions was this girl was in charge of the girls that's just how i felt i was like that's the resource um I think it was just it was just so crazy but my first real impression of you my first real impression of you is when you guys brought us all to Minneapolis Mm -hmm. for the social media summit that you had created and hosted for the properties you were working with yeah I'm being on one of them in Philadelphia America the American properties in the Americas (laughs) <laughs> good old Americas and we all went to Minneapolis and I was just like she's really on her shit like wow but then I was like she's also really really down to earth um and I remember talking to some of my colleagues that attended the summit with me and they were like I wonder how old is she she has to be like almost 30 at this point I was just like do you see how young she looks? She's definitely our age. <laughs> she just works at corporate and knows her shit. Oh <laughs> She's my a... God. And I think that was like my real first impression because after that, I was like, no, this girl is cool. She's down. She took us to an amazing restaurant and I know mm-hmm. she's a lot of fun. Um, and honestly, important. ever since there, I've just always looked up to you and always just appreciated everything that you kind of brought to the table from not only a business and entrepreneurial perspective, but also just your personality, your vibe and your energy. Because energy doesn't lie. Energy doesn't lie. Look at that full circle. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. That was so much fun. And like, of course I had to host a great experience. Like we're not going to drag everyone to Minneapolis because at first I was like, oh, let's do it in Chicago or let's do it in Philly or let's do it in the islands, you know, like, where do we have properties? And they're like, no, everyone's coming to Minneapolis. Like, well, then we have to go to Bar La Grassa. That was like the non-negotiable Italian restaurant requirement yes. for hosting the summit in the city. <laughs> yes. And almost 10 years later, it is still there. So I am excited to try some BLG again very soon. It's delicious. It is so delicious. And I can't wait for you to come, come back it's going to be so much fun. Um, but also, I mean, I will just add in one of the other very first things I remember that you created in that role was a discover Philly blog article. Mm, Okay. mm -hmm. And it was really great. It was like a kind of travel piece about all the things you could do in Philly, where to stay, what to see, where to go. <laughs> and it was like the most beautiful, beautifully written blog I had read. Oh. And 
And I had read like a shit ton of blogs, right? Like there were so many of them. This was peak, you know, this was peak 2010s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, blogging yeah. was <laughs> blogging it. was social. Blogging like, that was, was TikTok. It. Blogging yeah. was TikTok before TikTok. Yeah. And so that's another thing that I'm excited about because it's like, I know how great you are at scoping out destinations and everything to do there. And that's a big piece of this podcast. So we're planning to travel together at least once a month. Hopefully we'll get some sponsors and Yay. travel like all the time. That's, that's the goal. But we are going to start with once a month trips where Najee and I, we're going to a city together. We're having some original rich bitch experiences, and Mm -hmm. we're going to tell you all about it to give you a little travel inspo, things to look forward to, um, like the hot list, if you will, of these destinations, because it's fun. It's fun. It expands your horizons and it gets you out the house. Um, Hot girl summer is coming. Uh, It's time to be outside. And by the way, these flight prices are looking, a lot of people agree with me. So (laughs) hop on it. The flight prices. Uh, Honestly, I would love for those to go back to peak pandemic prices. Mm -hmm. I love Mm -hmm. the $200 flights anywhere. That That was the best case scenario out of a very terrible time. Absolutely. I mean, I hate to say it. But sometimes I feel like we need another pandemic because people are wilding outside and prices are going through the roof. Inflation nation. It's America. Okay, so let's break down manifesting real quick. I feel like we're going to get questions about that. Manifesting, it's a, um, I think it's a hot topic in today's kind of world of mental health dream realization, self-growth. It's definitely a buzzword that has mixed reviews. So I can tell you what I feel like manifestation really is. Yeah. What does manifestation mean to you? It's not um, kind of like almost to what you alluded earlier. It's not that kind of toxic positivity or that like blind assurance that, you know, you're going to have one specific thing but it really is kind of manifesting a certain energy or a certain lifestyle or a certain kind of feeling that you want for your life consistently and really trying a lot of different ways to achieve it. Um, For example, where I am at right now, um, I'm definitely manifesting kind of a very smooth and easy transition into a lifestyle that is very low stress, um, very kind of free flowing, and gives me the flexibility to pursue the passions that I deem respectable and enjoyable and fulfilling for my particular life. And I honestly believe just thinking about that and not being afraid to step out the box really is kind of helping me move an inch closer to that. Sometimes I'm not exactly sure how that's going to get there, but I can tell you for a fact that manifesting has helped us get to where we are now, even with this podcast, Mm -hmm. because I know just a couple of years ago, shoot, a couple of months ago, even this isn't something that I would have even wanted to do. Like, I honestly am that hermit crab, Ava, that likes to sit at home, mind his business, hang out with my people and call it a day. So being on some type of platform like this and promoting it in an even more public platform such as social media and being my most authentic self to all these people is very kind of foreign to me Mm -hmm. but it's also something that I've been putting on my new year's resolutions list for quite some time now about just kind of growing and being comfortable and being more authentic and just being a little bit more me so mm. I'm kind of just hoping that this manifesting journey of being a little bit more me kind of helps others that might be listening, help them be a little bit more themselves as well. I love that. And the first time you shared that with me, like I got like full body chills because it's like you have these things that you desire. And, and sometimes, you know, I think having the vision is the most important piece, right? It's like when you can visualize 
something that you desired for your life. You don't have to know quite literally how it's going to happen. It's Mm -hmm. really starting with having that very clear visual of what is it? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? Who's involved? Like, what am I doing? You know, where am I in the world? I think it's like the more you can clarify that vision, you don't have to know all the 50 steps from A to B Mm -hmm. to get there. It's just having that vision as the first step. But then also being able to trust your intuition to take action. So it's not like manifestation is like a very passive act. You know, it's something that actually requires work, which I think is like where a lot of people, it's like, oh, I'm just going to sit back and imagine things and poof, it's just going to fucking happen, which Mm -hmm. is like, "Mm, yes and no, right? Like we have (laughs) to have the vision, but we also have to take action towards that. And so- Mm. I love that you are, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit in terms of all of this. And I'm just so excited that you're on this journey with me because we're going to have the fucking best time ever. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a growth process for the both of us. It's definitely going to be a learning process for the both of us. Um, I'm just excited. I'm just excited to see like where this can go next. Me too. Me too. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, if we connect here every single week with the goal of showing up a little bit truer to who we are and simply share that experience, I think the goal is ultimately to unlock something in our listeners where we can actually take this journey towards becoming more of our true selves together. And if you're someone who loves travel, loves wellness, loves self-development, um, we are super, super excited um, for everything to come because I think you're going to, well, we vibe with this podcast. We hope you mm-hmm. will too. Fingers crossed. Like I said, tune in because we'll be covering a host of different topics about travel, wellness, random things that 30-somethings typically go through these days. It's going to be a wild ride, but I think anyone can get a lot from it. So we look forward to having you on this journey with us. Yes. Um, So let's transition to our segment called Love It or Leave It. Love it or leave it. Love it or leave it. And this is where we just get to bring the things that we're loving to you every single week, whether that's a new show, a movie, a book, an album, a song, uh, some other random thing, who fucking knows. (laughs) Um, This is the reason for this segment and also leave it because like we don't love everything. Sometimes we don't love things and we're going to share that too. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So Najee, what's on your love it or leave it for this week? So I'm very, very excited about this segment today because I'm very, very passionate about both of these. So we'll start with love it because (laughs) we'll start off positive. That's why. So this week I am love, love, loving um, the penultimate episode of This Is Us that debuted last night at 9 p.m. on NBC. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with that show, it's basically just the dramedy that chronicalizes the ins and outs of a not so typical American family. Um, Honestly, it's run from six, it's ran for six seasons. It's wrapping up um, its show. And honestly, it's been a really, really fun ride. I just, tears everywhere, smiles, laughs. It's just really punches me in the heart and the, the tears just would not stop coming. Um, but beautifully written, amazing cast. If you have not seen it, I suggest you start from season one, episode one, because those first two seasons really, really, really suck out those heartstrings and really make you fall into, fall in love with those characters. So that is what I'm loving this week where wait where can i stream it you can stream it on hulu hulu once you give me your logins oh yeah i will text you them afterward damn it <laughs> i will text you them afterward. i'm a netflix girl netflix going downhill netflix was so no, 2014 
Netflix created Bridgerton. What are you talking about? Listen, it didn't make my lover to leave it this week, but I did read an article that after all these um, layoffs that Netflix is doing, it might be the end of an era. No. Shout out to them though, because Netflix came from a little DVD mailing service to the conglomerate it is now. Kudos. Kudos to them. We'll have to pick up this argument some other time. Okay. What are you, (laughs) what else are you loving or leaving? So for loving this is us, we are leaving these gas prices. Oh my gosh. I saw today that gas on average is above $4 in every one of the 50 American states. What is happening here? I've got plans. I got things to do, places to go, people to see. What are the prices in Atlanta? So in Atlanta, the average price I'm seeing is probably about four twenty nine. Four twenty nine. Four twenty nine. Oh my god! In the city, I see I've seen as high as four dollars and seventy or eighty cents. And out Mm-mm. in the verbs, definitely a little closer to like 409, 410. So Mm-mm. I'm just, I don't like that. So no. I definitely want to leave these gas prices. Um, Joe Biden and they need to do something about it because hot girl summer's coming up. We got places to go, people see, and things to do. Amen. Buy gas prices. <laughs> That's terrible. I think they're 409 here in Minneapolis. Yeah, it's all too much. It's all too much. I mean, I've have have we ever had gas over four dollars in our lifetime? I don't think so. Don't get me started talking about the old. I mean, days. we've only been alive for you know twenty two years, but oh, I'm nineteen, so <laughs> <laughs> like I'm nineteen. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's giving Gen Z. It's giving. <laughs> it's giving Gen Z. It's giving where's if my TikToking? Tr- if we try hard enough, it's giving Gen Z. No, I don't think we could pass for that. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. They sniff Tide Pods or something. That's kind of crazy. What? That's a TikTok myth. Where there's smoke, Ava, there is fire. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Alas. What are you loving and leaving this week? Okay, so you know I'm a Shit's Creek stan. Um, you know I love that show. It's the best show. And I'm re-watching, thanks to Netflix, I am re-watching the series for probably the fourth time now. Oh. It's a little much, I get it. However, it's become my like comfort show. You know, it's 20 minutes. Like it's nothing but happiness. You can pop on one or two before bed if you're having mm-hmm. a, a moment. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And obviously like four or more if it's a weekend. Um, but it's the, <laughs> the, I'm at the point where they're doing the cabaret show. So mm-hmm. it's like, they're literally creating a show within a show and it's so fucking good. I love the entire storyline from you know, Alexis auditioning with the classic song. I'm a little bit Alexis. A la 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 la. A little bit Alexis. Oh, <laughs> you've got the I dance moves. Song. I have the shriek <laughs> together. I have the song on my <laughs> phone right now, and I still no, spin it don't. to this day. I'm so serious. Oh, Hold on. my God. I can literally tell Siri to play a little bit of Alexis. She'll play it. Can we play that without getting copyright infringement? Um, sure, why not? Okay, we're going to have a little bit of an Alexis dance moment. Okay, let's do it. Because it's really that good. Hey, Siri. Play a little bit of Alexis from my music. Now playing a little bit of Alexis from Shit's Creek by Annie Murphy. Yes. Legend. Louder. I can't hear it. <laughs> I'm going to try to actually do the Alexis. 
such a classic. Um, I could not Definitely hear it very well. Tragic. <laughs> I saw the moves. We had the we had the we had it going. The shimmy. It was all there. I am also loving the weather in Minneapolis because we have had a very delayed spring. So it is currently the middle of May and it just got warm, like within the last few days. And when I say warm, I mean above 50 degrees. Ooh, I cannot relate to that. I'm so sorry. I know. So I've gotten to finally shed my house coat that I've been wearing since October. Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. you know we're at this point we're basically tracking towards two seasons we're supposed to have four seasons here but really it's turning into two because global warming mm-hmm. so that's a love it slash leave it but also i will say i'm really over linkedin Ooh. Ugh. I am over LinkedIn. It has become nothing but a spammy sales platform. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you get these two, but I think when I switched from being a corporate employee to being a solopreneur, all of a sudden, like everyone, all these people popped out of the woodwork that I've never met, of course, trying to sell me shit like expensive, fancy softwares and sales funnels and all of these things that a company of one does not need. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, I gone are the days that. of connecting with colleagues. Gone mm-hmm. even are the days of the unwelcomed like date DM. Mm-hmm. I mean, LinkedIn was never for that anyways, but like those are gone too. It's all sales inquiries. Uh, yeah, we definitely are going to have to leave LinkedIn. We leave that. We leave that. It's been compromised. It's kind of weird because when you compare LinkedIn to a lot of the other social platforms, it doesn't seem like they've had quite the evolution or or like the change in faces as your Facebook, Twitter, or even Instagram has gone through. It kind of just seems like Mm -hmm. it just became a cesspool. A cesspool. Of Sorry. sales people selling shit, it. throwing spaghetti at the wall just to see if it'll stick. It's not sticking. Stop That's throwing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Gotta leave LinkedIn this week. Sorry. I know. And I'm kind of sad to say it too, because in theory, I like it. You don't need to dance on that platform. You actually really should not dance on that platform <laughs> or sing. So in theory, it's a great place, right? But the DMs do not pass the vibe check. I mean, if you're just looking for a platform where you don't have to do a song and dance, I don't know. LinkedIn, I feel like you have to do a different song and dance. Yeah, the song and dance you have to do for LinkedIn is like the fake schmoozy networking corporate ass bullshit that I'm just done with. That's the thing I'm totally also trying to get as far away from as possible. Oh gosh, that's another story for another episode, but yes, no. This is why I cannot stay on LinkedIn. Get away from me. Oh my God, I agree. So that's our love it or leave it. Yay. Any parting, did we do this? Did we do a pod episode? Do you think anyone's going to listen? Listen. I mean, do you think anyone's listen- going to listen? <laughs> listen? Someone's going to listen. If they don't listen now, they'll listen later. Okay. Cause when this pops, it's going to pop. It's going to pop. It's going to pop. If you want to say you heard it first. <laughs> that you were in from the ground up. You better get in episode one. It starts now. Well, now we're done, but you know, this is where it all started. Oh my God. Okay. Am I closing us out? Are you closing us out? Mm, I can close this out. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, rate and review us wherever you listen to your favorite podcast and tune in every Wednesday to hear the things that make us more us and discover a thing or two to make you more you. Bye. Bye.